Hi everybody and welcome to today's full body dumbbell workout, okay? So, we have eight exercises. We're gonna do each one for 30 seconds, three times each before moving on to the next one. So for example, the first one is a one and one quarter straddle squat. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, do it for another 30 seconds, rest for another 30 seconds, do it one last time for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna take a 60 second break before moving on to the next one. So we're gonna do two lower, two upper, two lower, two upper, without breaks longer than the 60 second break. Um, I don't have music on because I realized that any copyright free music I get was a bit annoying. And so I'd rather you play your own music in the background that you actually enjoy. So let me just explain the first exercise, our straddle squat. So this, you're gonna hold your dumbbells in between your hands, not on the outside, in between. You're gonna squat down and then back up, okay? And then if you feel comfortable and confident enough, we're gonna add in a pulse at the bottom, okay? Driving up through the heels and squeezing the glutes at the top, okay? So that is exercise one. Without further ado, let's get into this workout. So we're gonna go in 10 seconds. So if you wanna start picking up your dumbbells, okay, and let's get it ready to go in three, two, one, off we go. So, adding a pulse at the bottom, squeezing the glute at the top, okay, trying to target the glutes here. Don't forget to breathe in and out. First 15 seconds done. Good depth if you can, really focus on it, squeeze the glutes. Five more seconds, three, two, 30 seconds. You can put your dumbbells down if you want, shake the legs out. That is the first round down. We've got two more to go on this exercise. So, 15 seconds before we go again. So get your breath back, feet apart, okay. We've got five seconds left, so pick up your dumbbells, get ready. And three, two, one, off we go. So, keeping that chest upright, back nice and flat, squeezing the glutes. Okay. You've got 15 seconds to go. Okay, really squeeze the glutes at the top. Okay, five seconds, three, two, good. You can put them down again, shake your legs out. We go one more 30 seconds and then we're having a 60 second rest before the next exercise. Okay, 15 seconds. Getting yourself ready, last set of squats. Okay, so. We've got six seconds left, so let's pick our dumbbells up, let's get ready. Last one, three, two, one, off we go. Pulsing up, pulsing up, okay. Keep up the great work, everybody. 15 seconds, we're halfway through this and we get a 60 second break before the next exercise. Remember to squeeze the glutes at the top, drive through the heels, get as deep as you can. Three, two, one, great. Okay, 60 second rest. Our next exercise, you can either have dumbbells in both hands or you can hold one in your hand like so. And just to demonstrate with that weight, we're gonna go into reverse lunges. So dropping that back knee down, staying upright, Okay, shoulders back, getting, don't need to hit the floor, but getting that knee as low to the floor as you can, okay? That's your 30 second warning. Let's get ready. So in 20 seconds, we're gonna go, I'm gonna hold dumbbells in both hands, but you don't have to, okay? So, we're gonna go in 10 seconds now, so keep those Shoulders back, chest 
upright, back up nice and straight. And five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. Take a step back and drop that knee down. Okay, we're alternating legs. Okay. If you struggle with balance, you may do this without any dumbbells. Okay, we are over halfway. Five seconds. And stopping there, okay? Put the dumbbells down if you want. Shake your legs out. And off we go. Getting ready. We're gonna do this again. So going in 15 seconds. Right, 10 seconds. Let's get ourselves ready. Try and remember which leg you ended on so that you don't do one leg extra times. Three, two, one, off we go. Okay, dropping that knee down, looking ahead of you, squeezing the glutes as you come up. Okay, we are officially halfway through our time. Okay, 10 more seconds. Three, two, and stopping there, okay? One last round before 60 seconds rest. Then we're gonna move on to some upper body exercises. So, we're gonna go again in 15 seconds. Get ourselves ready. Going in. Six seconds, let's lift the dumbbell up. Five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. Five seconds, three, two, one, and stop in there. Okay, put your dumbbells down. We're going to demonstrate your next exercise. We're going to bend over and we're going to pull our elbows towards the ceiling, squeezing our shoulder blades together and back down. Okay, nice and controlled, back staying nice and flat, elbows staying tucked in. Okay, really focusing on squeezing that back together. If your weights are too heavy to pull both up together, you can alternate by pulling one up and then the other. Or equally, if your weights are too light, you can focus on doing a pause at the top for a couple of seconds before coming back down. So, 15 seconds, and we're gonna get into the first set of our upper body workout. So, let's pick our dumbbells up, we're going in five seconds, so let's bend over, back nice and flat, shoulder blades engaged, and off we go. Pulling the elbows up towards the ceiling, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep breathing. 15 seconds. 10 more seconds, good. Keep that back flat, keep your belly button pulling to your spine. Don't go into rounding, keep it controlled. And stopping there, okay, 30 seconds. I'm just gonna check it's still filming. Right, great work guys. Okay, 20 seconds, going again, okay? Two more rounds of these. So we're gonna go again in 10 seconds. So let's start to get ourselves ready. Okay, five seconds, so picking our dumbbells up, and in three, two, bending over, and off we go. Fifteen seconds, okay? Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top. Ten more seconds. Going in 
20 seconds. So focus on this going back 
not this going down. Okay? If you just have the upper body going down, you're more likely to round your back and you want to keep your back nice and straight. So, 10 seconds. We're going to focus on just pushing the hips back, slight bend in the knees, okay? Not completely locked out, but not bent. So off we go. So just slight bend, pushing the hips back and up, okay? Just reach as far as you can, okay? Don't go all the way down if you're going to round your back. The same way, don't force a range of motion that isn't there, okay? You just go as far as you can, okay? 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, 30 seconds rest. You should be feeling a nice, it should almost feel like a stretch in the back of your hamstrings, okay? That's what you're aiming for. So, 20 more seconds. Two more rounds of this, and then we're going into hip thrust, or glute bridges actually, I should say. So, going in five seconds, we're going to pick up our dumbbells, nice and safe pick up position. Three, two, one, hips going back, okay? Squeezing the glutes as you come back up to full extension, okay? You want to bring the hips all the way back. Keep the shoulders back. Ten more seconds. Great work, everybody. Three, two, one. Three seconds rest, and then we're going on to the last round of lower body exercises. Okay, sorry, I'm just going to adjust the camera a bit because we're going to move down to the floor after this for the rest of the workout. So. Going in 10 seconds, we're going to do our last RDO. Three, two, one, off we go. Hips going back and up. Great work, everybody. Do 
15 seconds. Ten. Five. Keep your head down. I'm also just looking at to keep it all out of time and stopping there. Okay. We have one last round of these. Okay, then we've got our last leg exercise done. Okay, going in. Five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. Squeezing those glutes at the top. Keep up the great work. Twenty seconds. Okay. Last 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and stopping there. Okay, 30 seconds rest. Go cycle number seven. So, our chest press, we're gonna keep your feet flat. You're gonna come up, bringing the dumbbells together, and back down. If this is hard, you can keep a more neutral grip, okay? Like so. If your weights are very easy, you can do a whole stabilizing the weight at the top. And if your weight is heavy, you can just take one dumbbell, like so, and push it up and back down. And up and back down. Okay, so if your weight's heavy, go like this. If your weight's good, take both and just come up and down. And if your weight is light, you can always work on stabilizing one arm at the top while the other one comes down and just alternating like so. So, we are going to go in eight seconds. Let's get our dumbbells ready. I'm just going to go into the regular one. Three, two, one, off we go. So, as you push up, focus on squeezing the chest together, muscles together, okay? And keep your belly button pointed to your spine and your back nice and flat on the ground. Okay, we're halfway through. Five seconds. Keep going. And resting there. You can put your dumbbells down. Okay. So take your 20 seconds rest. We still have. And then we're going to finish off with a core exercise. So, going in 10 seconds. So we're going to slowly start to get ourselves ready. So, in five seconds we're going to go. So let's get our dumbbells in position. And three, two, one, off we go. Pushing up, squeezing the chest muscles together. Keep up the great work, guys. I know the upper body fatigues a bit more when we're doing it for time with weights. So we try and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, 10 more seconds, guys. Keep that belly button pulled into the floor so your back doesn't lift off the floor. Three, two, one, and bring your weights down. And we have one last one to go. Okay. So going in 20 seconds, use this time to recuperate. Bring your arms up, you want to stretch your chest out a bit. We're going to be going in 10 seconds again, okay? So let's start to get ourselves ready. Okay, going in. Three, two, one, off we go.
but with the weight. And then if this is easy, we can go into lifting our legs up and do the same thing with our legs in the air, okay? So we're gonna do three times 30 seconds. So this will probably be slightly harder because obviously I don't wanna work at all, it tends to be harder. But it is our last 30 seconds of work three times. So our last minute and a half work of it. Yeah, so getting ourselves ready, you're gonna go in three, two, one. So remember if you want your feet down, that's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna do the beginner version to start off with, with the weight, really focusing on using the obliques to do the twisting. If your weight is too heavy, please don't use it. You do not want to injure yourself. Okay, so keeping that core, breathing in and out. Five, three, two, and 10 seconds, 30 seconds rest, sorry. Okay, that's your first one done. We've got two more to go. My hair is looking bad now. So, right, we're going in 15 seconds, okay? Let's start to get ourselves ready. So, I'm gonna do with my legs up this time. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, and controlling each way, okay? You don't want your whole body twisting too fast. Nice and controlled. Follow the dumbbell around with your arms, but try and keep your hips as still as possible. Five, three, two, one. 30 seconds rest, okay guys? We're gonna go now onto our last 30 seconds of work and congratulations, after this, you will have completed a full body workout. It's about 27 minutes long, so brilliant work, guys. So we're gonna go in 10 seconds. So three, two, one, off we go. Okay, last 30 seconds, really focus on those obliques. 20 seconds to go, guys. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. You want to put your feet down at any point to get your breath back or keep good form, please go for it. Three, two, one, and there we go, guys. Great work. That is your full body workout with dumbbells complete. Hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more workouts like so. Bye.